Today we're going to look at a very common problem with LCD TVs. You can see in my test pattern here, on the left hand side we have this long strip of pink. And over on the right hand side of the television is what the coloring should be. Uh, the issues with LCD TVs quite often is that there are ribbon cables about this uh, wide all along the top of the screen. There are also ribbon cables down each uh, on the left and the right hand side. Um, these ribbon cables are quite often referred to as tabs and what happens is you can get microscopic cracks in these tabs which will then cause the LCD screen to not illuminate properly. So today we're going to show you uh, a pretty quick and easy trick that you can use to fix the display on your television um, without going to spend thousands of dollars for a brand new LCD. Now this trick we're going to show you does not correct issues if you actually have a problem with your LCD panel, if there's actual physical cracks in it or some kind of other physical problem with the LCD panel. This is strictly just to show you how to fix problems if you have microscopic cracks in these tabs or ribbon cables that deliver the signal into the LCD. Okay, so we're about ready to take off the front panel of our LCD. We've removed all of our screws. We have, a for this particular Sony Bravia, we have 46 screws. There are um, four different types. You can see them there. Each TV is going to be different, so your mileage may vary on that. And you may find that you have to flip your TV um, over several times to take off ribbon cables and whatnot in order to finally get the top panel off. So this front panel, and this one comes off. And then underneath of it, depending again on your TV, you may or may not have this metal um, casing around the LCD panel. In the case of this Sony Bravia, I have a metal casing. I had to take out these um, screws so that I can actually get to the point where I can lift it up. So under here is going to be where these tabs are that you need to apply pressure to in order to get rid of the microscopic um, fractures. This one in the upper left hand corner, this is the tab, it's just a little ribbon cable. You want to make sure that the pressure is right where the ribbon cable meets the side of the LCD panel. You're not too concerned about right back here because what happens is the ribbon cable just comes up from behind the TV from the circuit board, wraps up around the top. But right here where it connects to the LCD is where those microscopic uh, cracks need to have pressure applied so that they um, correct the signal that's being sent to the LCD. So in order to put pressure on there, what we're going to use is um, this is some Scotch self-stick floor care pads. Um, you cut them to size, so you might want to just get, this one just has a couple of pads in it that you can cut to whatever size you need. I've already pre-cut one of them, so it's just the right size. They have, it has an adhesive on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this adhesive backing off. And you want to put this pad right underneath the metal, be careful here, put it right underneath the metal casing. And you want to make sure that it's going to make contact with the, um, the tab just below it. So we'll put this on. I get it right underneath here. There we go, and you want it to be flush with the edge so that when you close it there's no visible no visibility to that pad. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is lower this back down. Cut that in a little bit better here on the left hand side. So now as you can see, there's going to be uh, extra pressure added to that tab in the upper left-hand corner once we refasten all these screws back in. So I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together. We'll get the test pattern back up on the screen, and we'll see if that fixed the, uh, the uh, problem that we're having on the left-hand side of our LCD panel. Okay, so after putting the 46 screws back into the LCD television and remounting it to the wall, you can see that with the same test pattern, we have this uniform color. The pink line that was here before is gone. So applying pressure in the upper uh, corner here in this uh, tab solved the problem. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.